from the park, Topper say hey. Hey. <laughs> he seems a little down, thank hey. you. <laughs> Is he okay? He's okay. All right. Maybe he needs gas. Uh, okay. <laughs> We'll, we'll figure that out after the video. <laughs> yes. Guys, we're doing a, a look at the CRKT Cotiday. 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 I don't know. No you, matter what, somebody's going to tell us how to pronounce it. Sure, that always happens. <laughs> this knife, actually, we did a quick kind of experiment on this knife um, a couple weeks back. Lubing it? Yeah, see that video? Yeah. It's the knife experiment number 765, 12. I think. I thought it was 712. I don't know. This One, is... Well, it's a Jesper Voxnay's design. We'll talk about the specifications a little bit as we go, but real quick, take this knife apart. This is the CRKT field strip technology, Yeah. of which there's, I don't know, at least 10 knives now. There's 10 of them now? Probably. I remember the home front being like the very first one. Yeah, back in 2017. Wait, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> this one's like super simple. The other ones have gotten a little bit harder. Okay, be careful. Those bearings are going to go everywhere. You're going to go everywhere. Do you need a knife to pry that apart? No, I'm not. People say, don't pry with your knives. Blah, blah, blah. Because I got one here. It's all like gooey. All right. Yeah, if you saw the lubrication video, that is freshly lubed. We haven't used this knife since. But there it is. Yeah, the bearings are held in. So they're caged bearings inside a race. Yeah. Uh, somehow held in. Frankie magic. And I, Frankie and I were talking on the way over here that it's, it's welded. Pure magic. No, it's welded. Well, this one I was I was struggling um, on camera, and probably because we hadn't used the little rampage for a while. Well, you have to line up. There's a, a threaded piece you have to line up with the rampage. Frankie, I was going to say the male and female end. Oh yeah. <laughs> you have to line those up. I hate it and when then you can't find the right spot. And then screw. Yeah. Yeah. So this but one's this, a little different. This one does, it gets kind of like jammed in there a little bit. But okay. this is all it is, too. I mean, it's not like it's super hard. Now this, the prequel, is on nylon washers. Oh, yes. Not as smooth. No, he's not as smooth. Oh, actually, two-sided, really. Dirty? No, I don't know. I'm crazy. There. Yeah, you are. One sided, but they're held on, much like the bearings over here. Yeah. That's. I'm gonna put him back. Yeah, that's the field strip field strip technology, in its different forms. Um, it can vary a little bit, but ultimately it's the same idea. You can take your knife apart in the field. In the field. Without tools. Or in the park. In the park without tools. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, I do. But then you have to like, do, 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 do. maybe I'm going the wrong way. Maybe that's why it's taking You have longer. to say to yourself, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Uh, I don't know Whatever. if this will. I don't know if this will be the beginning of the video or the end. But if you made it this far in the video, give us a thumbs up. Let's talk about this kata day though. Okay. All right. Am I putting it back together? Yeah, it's only a 2.6 inch blade. Oh. All right. In amazing D2. D2, Frankie's favorite. Yeah. Oh, there goes our notes. Jeez, I got attacked. This thing coming in at eighty nine ninety nine. Oh yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> okay, I put that, it back together. Flip that little lever down, and it's back together. Check that out. Is it good in, in the centering? <laughs> centering is good. Is there blade play? No. no. No? That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, and you can tell, like, this one has worn in a little bit. The prequel? But this one does flip nicer. Yeah. Like, this one you have to put a little wrist to make sure that you get it every time. Okay, yeah. But you know what I mean? You can tell the difference between the nylon washers and the bearings. I think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. And the detent on the car today very nice yeah tiny little flipper tab let's talk about the specs on this thing though okay yeah 2.6 inch d2 blade it is a hollow grind Ooh. all right drop point as yep. you can see yep no finger toil not really or is it huh. if so that is a weird square finger yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a robocop's finger i don't know i mean i can put two fingers in there oh yeah okay here <laughs> 
I've carried and used this knife. I actually really like it. It's a smaller knife for me, yeah. right? Um, I did not use it really so much this way. Maybe I did and didn't think about it, but I was I was back here. Yeah, I would be a little scared to choke up there yeah. because you're going to probably just cut yourself. It is a fall off the cliff kind of um, blade there, so the sharpening of this edge is going to be pretty easy. Yeah. Or pretty straightforward anyway. D2 is going to put up a little bit of a fight, but... Mm -hmm. Um, it is a liner lock. Aluminum scales. Yeah, it is. And there's some texture to it. It almost is like an orange peel texture to it. Yeah, yeah. Very slight, but maybe yeah. uh, let me show that up close. I'll bring it to you. Listen. Right or left hand carry. There you go. Yeah, right or left hand carry. Show the clip. Very minimal. Basically uh, flush, deep yeah. carry. Yeah, it is. Yep. Very uh, usable clip in my mm -hmm. experience. Steel liners on that liner lock. Not skeletonized. No? As you could tell when I had it apart, too. I didn't even think about it, but yeah. yes, you're right. It's not skeletonized. Well, what is the weight, then, since we're getting there? Um, I bet he is, like, super fat. Chunky. No, it's fairly light. Hold your horses. Oh, <laughs> unsure. Yeah, he's very unsure when you go too soon. I was rushing. 3.3, okay. It is kind of a little bit of a tank for its size. 3.85. We brought some other Jesper knives because we should. 2.8. Yeah, okay, let's, um, may as well just keep these out. 2.6. This, oops, that was my fault. Yeah, it was. I thought so. <laughs> there. This is the Fox Knives Baby Core. Mm -hmm. That's a really cool knife. Good looking knife. And then the Fox um, MKM. Asanzo. Asanzo, the Fernando Asanzo. Asanzo and who's, Peter Holden. Who's going to get that reference? I don't know. Well, he's back in it, so maybe who is ever watching Formula One right now? What, Alonzo? Yeah. We just gave it away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, get these out, though. Show those. What else do we have okay. of Jesper's? Anything? We, no. <laughs> strangely enough, we thought we had the Pilar. We used to. We got rid of it. Because Frankie hated it. I did not like it. I, whatever. I didn't. So the only you other you can hate on me all you want. The only other CRKT that we brought besides the prequel is the Crossbones. Yeah, that's the bronze variety. Yes, bronzed version. Yeah. yeah, and I was carrying the mini sheepdog today. Very nice knife, very yep. popular. Let's show in size comparison. Yeah, to the mini sheepdog. Yep, you can see it's not as tall. How wide is this handle? It feels wider in hand. Does it? Yeah, I think so. I've liked it. 0.51. Okay, so it's basically average, what we call average, is half inch. Mm -hmm. 0.14. 0 0.14 on the blade stock yeah. thickness, slightly thicker D2 blade. Yeah. So really, this is more of a heavy duty user mm -hmm. in a smaller knife. Yeah, it is. It yeah. really is. Yeah. I've used it in various packages and some cardboard. Mm -hmm. um, I can it's tell. Put up, yeah, it's put up... Um, a fight? I was going to say... Not a fight? The edge completely will not quit. It's not going to. Well, that's D2, what D2 does. Yeah, yeah, Frankie's favorite D2 is phenomenal for edge retention. Mm -hmm. It may not be the best best, but it's up there. Yeah. 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 Oh, just give it time. Uh, a lot of people... <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say this one... What is this one? I oh no, that's <laughs> that's VG10. Yeah. If we have an S35, no, that's N690. If we have an S35, this is N690 also. Interesting. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, this here. is 8CR. Here's my EDC today. Oh, well, how about <laughs> we knife Thursday, different. Tanto Thursday. That makes perfectly good sense. M390. A lot of people are going to tell you they might not tell the difference between D2 and M390 when it comes to edge retention. So. I do. When I look for rust spots. Rust. That's Frankie's um, sore spot with D2. Okay. Yeah, it, it hurts. Tiny little flipper tab. What do we talk about? Weight plus width. We got that. It's tip up the way, I mean, nature, nature intended, intended it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you mentioned earlier that the clip is right or left hand. Yes. So that's awesome. Yep. Yeah. You're welcome, lefties. Mm -hmm. What else should we say about it? 89. 99. Yes. Maybe a little. Does it come in any other color? No. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. It's maybe a little Hopefully expensive. Hopefully you like black. Well, it's. Well, you pay for that field strip technology. You know what's funny? I want to say this one's kind of more expensive too for its size. You know what's funny about us mm -hmm. and probably a lot of other people? This is a really plain knife. 
it's black and it's you know just a satin finish yeah right as soon as it's a black coated blade oh it's awesome oh it's so much cooler <laughs> <laughs> as soon as it's blacked out well the clip too would have to be yeah and ideally the hardware but yeah as soon it as it's it so much cooler. as soon as it's blacked out well show topper because i like it true i like it stealthy and murderous okay <laughs> That's how, that's what I, that's how I describe you. Yes. To people. Stealthy and murderous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Maybe a little expensive, I guess, but it is a Taiwanese produced knife and yeah. it is that field strip technology. You pay more for so that. you're paying for that. And then there's a designer associated with it. You're paying for that. Um, one of our, I mean, you are going to have me favorite designers take apart a knife because, you know, that's what we do at the park. Well, I was going to have you do that a long time ago. Do you need to pay for this field strip technology? I was going to say... But wait, we're at the park. Don't you want to take apart your knife? No, you don't. Well, if, if you do, this is how long it takes. I think it's only three screws. You're taking apart the, um, the MKM? Yes, Asanzo. Yeah. Fernando Asanzo. Frankie's got the T8 and the T6. Those are typical for a lot of folding knives. You might see a T10 here and there. You might even see a T... 100. <laughs> yeah. Out in the field somewhere. T100 would be the... Um, <laughs> the your, your bearings, your wheel bearings. <laughs> I was talking Terminator. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I think that's 1000, isn't it? Or was he the T100? I thought he was... Okay, I don't know. Now people are going to correct us. I don't know. It's been a long time since we've seen those. All right, and there it is. Hey, look, plug here. Is it tough? That? Is it tough to take apart your standard folding knife? Usually not. And it's some, oh my gosh! There's like hair everywhere in here. Thanks for yeah. the setting in here. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. Um, these bearings, if you were to flip that blade up and and I over, it's, they're probably gonna fall off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to. But that's all right. We're in the park. That's that's how long it took. Yeah, it was very difficult. If you Hopefully. have if you have a maker that has proprietary tools, that's gonna suck. Yeah. But hopefully you have a Frankie Small Hands in your life. Check it out. This so you is you can put. Oh, that you could classify that as Throwback Thursday. Yeah, Throwback Thursday when we're filming this. This star pattern that we knives used to do. Do they still do it? No, they don't. They have it for a few years. They included the tool. Yeah. We still have these. We still have a, a bunch of the original we knives that have mm -hmm. the proprietary tools with and purple hard. It was purple and gold hardware. Yeah. I love this knife. Anyway, imposter for this video. What do you guys think? You're paying for the field strip technology. Who else out or who out there likes that type of knife? That mm -hmm. idea, though. Well, when you're out and about, don't you want to? Well, you were just saying how dirty this knife is. Yeah, it was, but you I can clean this one anywhere you go without any tools. Yeah, I guess. Oh, so. something if to you point really out. Really wanted to. Yeah. All right, we'll put links in to Blade HQ for. Maybe all of this field strip knives and search YouTube for our uh, videos on. Did you get that live? I got the grunt, yeah. Search our videos for field strip knives from CRKT. We have other videos. Nice. Yeah. See, yeah. I uh, practiced. <laughs> well, it's about this knife. But, yeah, we'll put links in. We appreciate when you use those. Thanks for subscribing as well. And yeah. And I think that's everything. Okay. All right. Just double checking my screwage. Wow. It is on the way. I'm not sure. No, it was completely a reason for it. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.